Yo, so check this out. Yeah. Yo, so today is gonna be a really cool review of some cool spray paint caps that I got all the way from Japan uh, from this company called Fade Bomb Art Supply. Uh, so they make some of these custom spray paint caps and what was really cool is that every cap that I have fits their system And it's like a perfect fit because there wasn't a lot of movement when I put them on really It's a tight sort of fit so you're not gonna have paint squirting everywhere And this system seems like it works with a lot of these aquaponic connectors and tubes So that was really great because each of these tubes can probably be found on places like Amazon And another little thing is that these parts can be taken apart and put together like Legos. So you can actually make your own little sort of spray paint adapter system and pattern because you're easily able to sort of take one connector and connect it to another one uh, without any problems. So it has like this open source sort of feel where it's kind of like, you know, simple parts and it's easily able to be sort of piece together the way you want it to. Uh, the male adapter, the green part, is something that I can't find online. It seems like it's all sort of patented and custom, um, but that one you can't really just press down with one finger. You have to use two. And it also came with these rubber bands so that the adapters and the caps that use two cans you're able to uh, sort of use it freely without having to sort of align the cans exactly because the rubber band, you know, will keep it there. And these dual color caps that use two cans are perfectly aligned 67 millimeters apart. So you can kind of see the different ones that I get. I get this sort of three spray one that uses two cans. So you can get different colors. This one I already used that sort of just sits on top with five stack sort of spray. And then this one that has like two on each side, you know, a little weird one. Um, this one is like sits two on one side. So it's kind of like it's stacked on top of each other. So that one I want to really, really try out to see what that looks like. And this one is a dual can one that sort of spits out one pattern. And like I said, all the caps use this green male adapter that comes with every uh, cap that you get. One thing that I wanted to do was give you guys some measurements of some of these different parts so that if you want to sort of build one of your own, you can. So like the opening of the can is 3.32 millimeters and the actual male adapter that sort of sticks in it is about 3.2 millimeters. And I'm gonna give you some of these other measurements, but it seems like a lot of this stuff is aquaponic supplies, the tubes, the connectors, so that if you're on Amazon, you can actually go there and with these measurements, buy some of the tubes and connectors connectors that are the same measurements and build some of your own caps and sort of spray contraption things like that and the measurement that you really have to get sort of familiar with is the inner diameter and the outer diameter for the connectors and the tubes and because there's a long way to go for the paint to go in the can and out the can I get this acetone can just to blow out the caps because you just don't want spray paint sitting in there for a long time and I'm gonna use this water-based spray paint by MTN and I use that a lot indoors. And I'm gonna use my scroll contraption. Basically, I'm able to just turn this little thing on the Arduino and power the motors up and use these switches where it just allows me sort of like this almost endless roll of paper I'm able to practice on. So now let's get started with this dual cap adapter. And all I'm gonna do is just show you the different patterns that you can get with each of these uh, cap adapters and just see exactly you know how they work and sort of like what the outcome is and you know as I'm just painting uh, with these uh, cap adapters making different strokes and as I'm painting I'm just getting different ideas of if I'm on a wall what can I use this cap adapter for So now after spraying with this one, I'm gonna put it on the acetone one and just blow it out. Like I said, I don't want paint staying into those channels on that cap adapter at all. And then we're just gonna move to the next one. So this one turned out okay. 
like this sort of tornado effect that I can get from it. So let's move to the next one. I'm already not liking this one at all. It seems like there's just too many caps in one small area, so it makes the strokes look kind of muddy and unorganized. Now this one right here, I'm really, really excited about because you get two different colors that you can sort of get from those caps, but you have to use both hands and two fingers on the caps at each time. And it really gave me some cool sort of transitions and just trying to figure out exactly how to make those transitions smooth. It seems like you have to sort of stay on one can and then press the other can at the same time and then release the can that you used to to sort of make like a cool transition of those different colors. But this one I really, really like. Try this can that has three caps stacked on top of each other. You know what, I kind of like this one. You know, I could see me using this in different areas of my work in terms of, you know, maybe it's hair or maybe it's, you know, sort of grass or some sort of foliage, things like that, but, or even like a uh, hatching because it does have like this sketch line sort of feel to it. So this is one I was excited to try out mainly because it's three different caps using two different cans and just seeing exactly how I would transition between those two different colors. And it gave me this cool effect because as I'm transitioning from color to color, it does take uh, a fraction of a second to change the colors and you can kind of see, you know, from one side to the next side, uh, you know, that sort of time it takes for the paint to sort of clear the tubes. So that was really cool. one I was super excited to try because it had these needle attachments to it and this is one of my favorite ones that I uh, used mainly because it gave a really cool hatching sort of fill and it covered really well and it was evenly spraying there wasn't any problem with it even though you know it's a small sort of channel for the paint to grow through these needles and when you're just flowing with your hands and just moving across the canvas it just gives a really cool pattern and it has like this 3d effect sort of feel so i really really like this cap a lot and this one i definitely would have to sort of spray this out uh, every time i use it because the like i said it's needles at the end of the adapter so i always have to use that acetone can to spray out some of that paint so in the end, Fade Bomb Art Supply really had some dope caps that I can use on various projects. I like this dual one, this triple one was really cool. Any one that had like adapters for two cans at once seemed to be really cool because you can get multiple colors on uh, one spray. So I like this a lot, even like this needle one. I have to make sure I clean this out a lot, but this needle one worked out amazingly. So this one I can pass on and this one I can pass on as well. But you know, with the system of using these connectors and adapters and uh, tubes, you can build your own because it seems like it's just regular sort of supplies that you can get at an aquaponics store. But I definitely suggest just trying out Fade Bomb Art Supply. I will have the website in the description as well so that you can go there and try some yourself. And if this video really helped out, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And I will see you next time. Peace.